Hello everybody, my name is Asma, welcome back to Let's Play Europe's House 4. As the Celtic Union, let's continue on from where we last left off. So we're at, we're at war with, you know, Delhi, France. We're at war with some pretty decent people. We're at war with basically all of India. Not that France is really an issue, because like 100,000 men are in North Africa. Actually, like France is actually like really weak this game. It's probably the weakest I've ever seen France. There's, and there's, a, there's a ton of guys right here. Um... Do you think that uh, Chile is actually going to do anything about this war, though? Do you think they're actually going to be able to send troops over there? I highly doubt it. I'm surprised they didn't attack Japan. Because, you know, the release nations over here have a very decent tendency to attack Japan. And I don't know why. They always do. Our navy's under attack? Oh, no. Oh, there's their 20 heavy. We can sink that. If you can sink their 20 heavies, we'd be in a great spot. Now, what, what are these guys? Oh, this check the Bay Fleet. I still don't even know if they're actually protecting trade at all. It seems like that one trade fleet is broken. Oh no, we lost our... I mean, we're losing battles. It's... Okay. Central North Atlantic. How are we losing... Central North Atlantic's like up here, right? I have no idea how we're losing anybody there. But, uh, it's a pretty decent. Are they just going to sail right through? Oh, okay, we have to attack. We have to help defend. Get all our heavies out there. Even though they're pretty weak, we're going to lose all of our trade ships. So that's fine. You know, there's been worse to happen. These two more become self-sustaining. Fantastic! I wasn't even really paying attention to that colony. But it all worked out in the end. Oh yeah, you guys are supposed to march up here. And you're supposed to march up here. Make sure to defend the colonies. It's generally a good idea. I mean, if we colonize that side of the island, we might as well just colonize the other side. No reason not to. Also, is there any reason that every single province is the uh, trading company? I don't think so. I don't think it actually really helps you at all. And how much money are we pulling out of Zanzibar? Oh, look at that. There were 17 ducats, now it's like 1.9. A lot, a lot of money is now leaving. Which is, excuse me, great for us. 80%. Where are these guys? Wonka Pumpa? Wonka Pumpa. Oh, they're up. Oh, okay, they're over here. Should we just increase autonomy? I think we might as well. Why can't we increase autonomy here? No, because it's already at... I don't know why it's already that high. I don't know why any of these are actually already at 98.2%. Um, is there anywhere else we can just, like, lower autonomy and make this easier? Well, these guys, I don't care if they rebel. Actually, no. They would be friendly to these guys, which would generally be bad for me. What was that, what was that sword sound? Did I accidentally just did I disband an army or something without notice without knowing it? Wow, we took heavy losses in that battle. Uh, probably next year or the year after that we can actually get um, some new technologies. The post being ruined by uh, Venice right now. Do you think Venice is going to uh, form Italy? There's a decent chance that they might. It'd be interesting. Siege of Picardy is over. That means we can just go attack the six stack. Not that I really want any of these territories. I and mean, we can't transfer them to the Ottomans, sadly. But we don't have any claims here or anything. So I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. Maybe. Yeah, their sieges are going fine. But you know what? If they want to siege down all that land? I don't care. You have a 25 stack that would not be worth attacking. Is Brunei? What is this a war over? Oh, Portugal's trying to conquer Brunei. Okay. Gain one stability for free? Absolutely! I would love to be at extra one stability. We should also maybe slow down these rebellions? You know, a little bit? No? Okay. Overextension is still, like, super high. Uh. Religious unity is kind of bad. What is a religious unity actually at? 94%. It's really not that bad at all. 
and you're trying to take Naxos. You've already sieged it down, though, haven't you? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure this war is going to go for the five years until, like, 87, 88. I can't count. It'd probably just do that and then peace out. Like, I'd be surprised if anything else happens. So how is Europe doing? Very, very soon going to occupy Ile-de-France. Is Ile-de-France still their trading capital? It's not. Where do you think France puts their trading capital? It's probably somewhere in Champagne. Or not Champagne, uh, Bordeaux. Or maybe they didn't. I don't know. I thought normally you could see trading capitals. Yeah, you can. Where's your trading capital, France? I don't know why I really care that much, but I'm, I'm just I'm just curious. As to where it could possibly be. Oh, he's improved uh, relations with Mexico. I don't want him staying there. Is there, is there anybody else who's super rebellious? They're still at 71. All that improved relations did was nothing. It didn't really help us at all. Yeah, but, you know, we don't need improved relations with them. It's fine how it is. Oh, I, I completely forgot about colonial nations would actually just be attacking uh, those guys. 13 stack. Hey, somebody want to come deal with this? Maybe? No? Okay. I'll go siege down Normandy. The Ottomans are actually attacking uh, into Aquitaine now. I guess we might as well take Admin Tech 23, right? We're paying an extra 60%. Or 60 Monarch points for it. Uh, you know what? This has four... We have, we're, we have like no military points right now. Can we reduce inflation? Well, reduce inflation and then next year... Get all those techs. And then everything will be great. Sadly, only um these two get bonuses. The military does not get an extra bonus. They get a 20%. But that's it. Like this one gets a minus 35. I think this one's minus 30. So military attack kind of lags behind the other ones. But it's fine. I'm pretty sure we've got to be like one of the most advanced nations in the world, right? 22-22. Some people, yeah, might have taken 23s. Do you think uh, Chile has sent a single troop over there? I highly doubt it. Chile is just going to sit here and then eventually lose the war. Even though it's at 8%. How? How is that 8%? Oh, is it a show superiority? They're getting a ticking war score because of um, that one battle we had. So you've won 100% of battles. That is so stupid. Chile is going to win this war and it's just dumb. They might just get like, you know, some money out of it or something. Hey, duh, yeah, you want to just peace out? I don't really care about this war too much. They probably won't. And this, I'm pretty sure this land is worth nothing, right? Occupy, yeah, it's point two. They can occupy all of India, it'll probably give them like four war score. It's, it's not a big deal. Oh, uh, we actually lost... I'm reducing naval battles actually over here in the New World. Man, I'm not, you know, concerned about it though. If they want, they can do whatever they want. These guys have to send them up to Calais. I wonder if the Netherlands is going to attack over some land. Actually, I'm surprised they don't have any claims. They, can, they only have one claim in Cologne. Can I transfer them now? No? Like, I don't want any of this land, so... Uh, colonies are looking pretty alright. Are we missing a colony? Oh, no, the one guy is being sent over here. Is he almost there yet? Oh, 10 days. There we go. Starts off with an instant 45% population, which is quite nice. Sadly, I can't choose to burn these colonies down, because I don't want them. We've gained some core provinces. Awesome. It's going to reduce our extension a little bit. Oh, we're going to get a huge, um, a, a huge slew, I guess. In uh, Northumberland? Oh, we can deal with that. Well, we, there's a 19 stack here. Can't really deal with that as effectively. But these guys up here, they're, they're as good as dead. 
New Pope. They elected the Provence. Provence is completely sushed down right now by Denmark. Oh yeah, we are still in this war with Denmark. I completely forgot. Yeah, that that's a whole thing. That's a whole another thing that we just kind of ignore and hope it goes away. Two more months, we'll be able to get um, some brand new, super cheap text. It's gonna be the last two, maybe three cheap text that we can get. But you want independence? Uh, I know we're still supporting your independence. I think it's because of this whole Austria thing. Um, unless this union breaks. Like, they don't want to rebel against Austria and Spain at the same time. Which would make sense, you know? I wouldn't re want to rebel against both of them at the same time either. I've uh, gained a lot of cores. So now that we got those cores done, revolt risk is way down. Not that it really matters too much. I mean, it did drastically slow down how long it's going to take from the, you know, fire. Which is nice. We'll, uh... Get our core, or convert that one province. Can Celtic Columbia or somebody, like, actually come deal with this? Because I can't, because I have no troops over here. Because I didn't think that far ahead. And what's that actually, what until that one stack? Uh, I'd rather just get the military attack, right? Absolutely. So yeah, you go back over here. Kind of completely forgot about you. It's so cheap. How, how cheap is it? 270, it's, it's stupidly cheap to get these tax. It's, it's basically criminally cheap. It's like I'm stealing from the game. And we're still at 743. Can't do much with that. If we got this, like, next year, what would this 100, would this be just like 260%? Will this be like, yeah, you can't do anything for like another 25 years. Kind of insane. Okay, so you're almost done this war. It's only against Oldenburg and Provence, and I'm pretty sure. Actually, how's it only at 95%? Oh, does Provence? Ah, oh, Provence has more territory that they haven't sieged down yet. Hopefully, we can just uh, flip all of these to the Ottomans as soon as uh, they finish the siege. Here's the siege up here. Because, like, I don't want these sieges, because I know the AI might give them to me. And that doesn't interest me at all, because I don't want them. When will France actually peace out of this war? Because I have no clue. Uh, revolts down here. Ooh, these are actually pretty bad. We have a 17 with no leader. Do we just have, like, no generals? Uh, we have two generals that are actually... Basically, they're all in hostile territory. We have you no leader. 2-2... Uh, two, two. Well, they're both the exact same, actually. Is it actually the exact same guy? No, they're not. They might as well be. Savannah, is that... There's no penalty for attacking over here. They have a one maneuver, we have two maneuvers, so it doesn't matter. Will we win that? I don't know. I would like to hope so. I would like to think that our country is strong and powerful, and we could actually do that. Siege of Anjou. Okay, so let's flip all of these to the Ottoman, because I don't want them. Like, not a single one of these provinces uh, interests me. Oh, I can't do that there, because we have to go to Bricade first. And then Artois. And then Calais. But now that we're basically done with this war, I, I think we're ready to pull out. I mean, the, the Ottomans are here. They can siege it all down themselves. Somehow, France lost 39,000 infantry. Oh yeah, they're all still down here. I completely forgot about that. If the French arrive and they, you know, get back home safely, then we'll kill them at that point. But until then... Oh, this colony's been become self-sustaining. Fantastic. Slowly just go up the coast. Where are you actually colonizing right now? Colonizing right here? Uh, they finished another siege. We're probably taking a lot of overextension. No overextension. We're actually getting no... more exhaustion for these sieges. I mean, that's fantastic. But I don't know why. 
1.2 years of that fires. In Sontai next year, the um, the bonus will go away. We'll get our better infantry 13 years ahead of time on everything. And we can get better troops. Um, 3 2 3, 3, three two, mm. I think we go for get the uh, line infantry. And this kind of seems better. Well, like, let's go on the offense for this. I'm so surprised that our max manpower is, like, so low. It's not even over 100,000 yet. Like, it feels like it should be just much higher. And did we get... I don't think we got new unit models. I don't know when the next level of unit model comes. I think it's around Tech 25-ish. That, that makes sense. Yeah, that, this is just... It's a cakewalk. I love being able to just attack France and, you know, be absolutely okay with it. And I love that we're still getting our taking war score here. Tunis pieced out. Why is Tunis friendly towards us? I don't really know. Are they also... Is everyone just friendly towards us? Oh, it's probably because we all hate Spain and Austria and stuff. Yeah, enemy of enemy. Oh, and Portugal. France will pay 10%. Really, that's it? Come on, come on. I wanted something a little bit more than that. That was lame as hell. You couldn't make him, like, release Normandy or something? It's not like even any French troops died. I mean, a lot of the country became looted. But most of the French troops were here in Tunis. So this, like, there wasn't even any battles. Yeah, these are... Can somebody just go, <laughs> just go kill these guys, please? Because I can't. This one problem... Yeah, there we go. You're Catholic now, so you should just... You know, revolver should just instantly go away. So sometime this year, we're going to lose our beautiful modifiers. A thousand... That's going to go up to, like, um... Probably, like, 1,300. Making 355 ducats a month off trade. Wow. Um... You country. I forgot where modifiers are. Yeah, it is this one. In August 4th. Such a shame that we're not going to be able to get a, uh, any more super cheap techs. Colonies come self-sustaining. Fantastic. There we go here then. Are you almost done as well? Next month. I mean, let's look, let's look at this. 25 Prestige. Liberty Desire. Liberty Desire. I don't... Or at least 50... I don't really care. Mexico already has a lot, but we'll just do it like that. And next month, that's finished. Excellent. And, uh, we'll go here because it looks like it's a bit safer. Our Romare of Denmark's ended. They're probably going to send it back, right? Right now? Okay, okay, Denmark. Uh, Improved Legions looks like it's. Actually, it hasn't gone down that much. But we'll love royal marriage with you. Oh, we don't need our military access through Liege anymore. Is there anybody else that we can just, like, ally? I guess we did have Lithuania. Oh, Lithuania! We were allied at some point. But our alliance had to break. I remember that. Yeah, let's get that back up with Lithuania. It's been a long time, Lithuania. And now I can protect you against Russia. Because Russia is, um... You know, they're getting maybe a little bit scary. Really, it should be attacking and colonizing a bit more. It seems like they've been a little bit lackluster about that. Are they actually not colonizing anything? Like, why? I don't, I don't get it. They should be. Um, convert that. Like, why are they actually converting that and that's going to turn into a colonization eventually? I don't really know. Yeah, it'll sort itself out there. But I do think it's probably a good time to end the episode. Thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you're not enjoyed, you can always thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.